So is this all operating off outside the power source? Yes. It's, if you look when we go out, it's got um, a cord down to the wall. This power from there. And the fans that are running now are only used on the ground and to keep the equipment cool, to keep All the right, computers yeah. cool. It's behind these panels, there's rows and rows of computers. Sure. So these are pretty old hats as well? These Mostly old fashioned analogue stuff, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, so one or two digital computers on the aircraft, but not very many. Yeah. Generator beneath there or something? Uh, no, it's the, um, just equipment cooling fans. Oh, yeah. There's equipment everywhere on the lift, and relays and uh, computers and everything. So small windows. This is the new seats, and we've actually got um, some with Kevlar liners and some with aluminium. Oh, yeah. um, Kevlar's yeah. a wee bit lighter than the alley. They've been using the trolleys to bump into them. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> So it's the seating, the seatings are just for aesthetics, really, isn't it? Seating. I prefer these doors to be open. From there. <laughs> this cabin crew was closing when they were doing their bunk testing. Oh right. There's three toilets in there. Got one in the front, two in the middle. So the galleries. There's one at the front, one at the back. And it's got bun warmers, ovens. Um, all the champagne comes in on the device. Yeah. You have the black box. Yep. Okay, well, we've got two boxes on the aircraft are not black. Uh, oh, yeah. One there, the um, actual data recorder, and one over there is the flight base, the uh, voice recorder. So, two extra boxes are not black. Were they originally black or something? No, 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 just uh, death and destruction. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> You don't really want to be reading most of them. Well, you do a good job doing it. Oh, yeah. Um, it's actually got a underwater locator beam on it. They'll send signals to the satellite so they can be located. That box there, it's on the front, it's the underwater locator beam on the ULB. That we found, that goes up on from a couple of years, um, down 20,000 feet underwater. Can we put nice comfy chairs? Good for their posture. They need, they need it really, don't yeah. they? Uh, because they're facing up, they give them a rear view mirror to keep an eye on the passengers. Oh, Take right. off the landing. No television. <laughs> no. Now pick something here rather than the 747 window. Oh, yeah. It, it, apart from the black box recorders for indestructibility, is there other recorders that, that are used? Yeah, the BA on most of the aircraft have a quick access recorder, which records many, many more parameters. And we take it off after every flight, after every LHR arrival. We always put it through a Cessna machine, which is looking for any deviances from the normal. So it goes through a special events. Yeah. That helps you with the money yeah. to yeah. 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 it, it looks for any trends on the performance of the aircraft, or if the crew are operating it a little bit strangely. And there's agreements with Balfour or Toll, and they might have a word with pilots or something like that. So how many uh, parameters does that actually record? Because some of them, I know the American ones, they only record something like five. No, that's hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the one at the front is many hundreds. Glad to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah, we actually uh, do use the quick action recorder at the front quite often for defect investigation. It's sampling what a lot of systems four times a second. So wow. you do get a lot of data on it. And if the flight crew have reported something, we can't reproduce on the ground, a reheat instability in Mark II. We'd have to go and look at the aids to look at it to see what started the problem, whether it's fuel started it or bad air started it. We have to go then we stand far better chance of fixing it because we understand what happened. Because the crews don't always see the start, they only see the effect. Yeah. Yeah. But we can actually go to the aids and have a look. And we need to go to take our existing system on into this. This is going uh, 30 years now, isn't it? Yeah. Certification cost is not hard. Once you get certified, and there's so much effort you have to go into the certification. It's, you know, 
and say, why don't we build a new airframe as well? They could build a new airframe, it's getting the engines to work. Going Sonic Cruiser, the airframe will be supersonic, but it can't get the engines to work at supersonic speed. Yeah, right. And also at uh, low and slow. Yeah. How big are you talking about? Yeah, 30 feet capacity from the radio space. We can't buy that for the specification anymore. Yeah, we're going to remanufacture the cars. There's a new capacity, far, far smaller. We just won't work on it. Yeah. But we are, it's, it's a rapid remanufacture cars in, in some of the boxes. Mm -hmm. So what's going to finish on with? Okay, it's going to be a silly Twenty or thirty pins at this time, are we? No, we're talking just about the three aircraft and we're not crazy to wait back to the This is a sort of aircraft, it would actually suit something like a uh, parachute facility, wouldn't it? Because right. it's, it's not a, it's a beautiful design, and it's got that sort of loadings about it, isn't it? Yeah. But of course they wouldn't do that either. Oh, maybe the pasture fly here, that's not really a fact, sorry. No, I'm talking about, there, there, there is a heavy engine up there, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, it's sort of safety mechanism. I don't know if you know, all, all this aircraft is serviced on the left, right hand side, and the passenger always be on the left hand side. So on Congo, the left hand door is always much bigger than the right hand door. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, the slide is disarmed. That door is far smaller than that one. Yeah. Alright. All for weight saving and. Structural reasons. And the door is not opposite. On some Boeing, the doors are opposite. Congo, the doors are staggered for the structural reasons. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that makes here. sense, yeah. yeah. To keep as well as stresses go, because a lot of stress is uh, transferred to the ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's electric fuel pumps on most of them. The engines will also suck it out with mechanical pumps. There's also hydraulic pumps in the left tank and right back to the forward tank. So we can't be landing with these sort of air tanks. So this will be the third airplane to fly. Not this will be <coughs> this will be the first one to so get it. Uh, this will be one of the first three airplanes to fly. Hope the passengers like it. They do. If any of you saw us, anyone notices downstairs, it's an electric little event on the 10th of March and in, in, invited the top 50 Concord customers. They've done at least 20 Concord flights wow. in the previous year. And there's some letters from them down on the paper. Had a read on there, it's quite nice. The, the event went down very well indeed. Um, um,